Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made these faux Easter chocolate pops. These little guys right here. So I made these out of these molds that I bought from the confectionery house and online. You know, I bought these online and I'll put a link down below this video. So here I bought this little mold right here. This, little guy, this, this one comes in A and B. So if you wanted to make the full little bunny, which is really sweet, you can make the full bunny out of that one. But for the suckers, uh, I only use half, you know, half a piece, just like this thin little one side. And I also have this mold here for the other bunny that I made. I made these bunnies out of plaster of Paris. Um, an air dry clay might work with this, but uh, for these I did use this. Uh, just if you use this, make sure you read the directions carefully. Uh, I do use air dry clay for some things for this little cookie right here actually on this sweet little bunny I made uh, I did that is an air dry clay so it may work and probably might be easier for you to make so uh, let me know if you try that so once um, the plaster Paris hardens it looks like this just the white and then I sand the little edges with a Dollarama nail file because they tend to be a little bit rough I sand them down then I paint them with uh, craft paint, any shade, any colors you want to use. The chocolate brown I do use is uh, Burnt Umber by Deco Art. That is the chocolate I use for that. And all the other paints I mix, all the colors. So you're also going to need Dollarama eggs right here. As you know, I paint mine. You're going to need little sucker sticks and your fake frosting featherweight uh, spackling crap filler mixed with craft paint so here we here we go we're going to show you how I put this little guy together you need a hot glue gun just a small one so I have a little egg here I'm gonna hot glue him right on top here of the bunny just like that right there and where this guy is a little bit thicker than the other bunny, than this bunny here, this bunny actually, I just hot glued the stick right in the back. That's how I did that guy. And this one, he's a little thicker, so I cut the stick with a wire cutter, because this isn't cut very good with regular scissors. So I cut it with a wire cutter, and then I'm gonna hot glue it right on the bottom, right here, on the bunny. And let that dry. Now the fake frosting, you don't have to add that if you don't want. I just thought it was a cute little added touch to this, this little bunny. There, we'll let that dry. So now we're going to put on our fake frosting. Sometimes the ends, I have to say, sometimes the ends harden um, and what you can what I always do I have a piece of paper towel a wet piece of paper towel and I always leave the tips into that because when I set them aside to use a different color they tend to harden just give it a squeeze and sometimes um, you might want to add water as well to your little mixture and if you accidentally put too much water you can put flour so those are little tips for this crack filler fake frosting so here we go we're going to put a little bit there I use a tiny little tip for these and then I'm going to use the pink right here. And there we go. And there's our little Easter chocolate fake candy pop. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. And please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.